Hi there, I thought I just did this live, turned out it didn't get recorded. So I'm Karen Whiting and I'm happy to share some Christmas joy with you. I have the 12 days or 12 books, I should say, of Christmas joy for this and the next two weeks. I'm doing one today, hopefully one Friday, and the other 10 will be the weekdays of the next two weeks. But today I have from Christine Trimp, Seeking Joy. Seeking Joy Through the Gospel of Luke, A Christmas to Calvary, Advent Countdown. Now, Christine went through a hard time. Most of us have hard times in our life, but in her case, it led her to the Bible and to really studying the Gospel of Luke and discovering joy there. And from that, she wrote this book on Seeking Joy, An Advent Countdown. And you know, I find that when it comes from the heart, and from the experience of a person, it touches and encourages more than other books do. So that's always a great thing to know about it. And I want you to understand some of what's in here in the table of contents. I mean, there are some great titles there. There is, Have No Fear, Joy is Here, The Joy of the Lord's Favor, No Joy, No Worries. The cornerstone of joy, because we have to remember Jesus is our cornerstone. Joy to the weary world, weep with me, joy. Joy to you, Merry Christmas. And I also want to touch on a little bit about what's in there. Then I love that she began with joy breaks the silence, because the birth of Jesus broke the silence of 400 years for the Hebrew people, the nation of Israel. And that was important, and it made a difference. And we sometimes feel God is silent, but in our lifetime, it won't be 400 years, and hopefully it won't last that long. But there are those moments we wonder, God, what are you trying to have me learn? And then day two is, have no fear, joy is here. I love how she does this each time, and so the beginning of each day has a scripture passage that she writes out. This is Luke 2, 9 to 10 of what happened when the angels first saw the shepherds and the shepherds responded to them with fear, with trembling, and how that led them to not be afraid, go to Bethlehem, see Mary, Joseph, and the baby Jesus. And in a response, it left Mary pondering and had the shepherds, of course, spreading the word of the birth of Jesus. Now, after she goes a little deeper into whatever she has started with on the scripture, Christine then goes into ponderings and finding joy, followed by a prayer. So let's just look quickly at this one. Ponderings. Is there anything in your life causing your panic, anxiety, and fear? Identify the source and write a promise of peace and joy over each circumstance. So there's an action you can do to make a change in your life as you go through this. Those actions are all very different, so be ready for surprises on that. And finding joy is a summary of what she's talked about. The shepherd's fear turned to joy. Their joy emboldened them to spread the word about Jesus. Mary held this miraculous story close to her mother's heart with great joy. Isn't that a wonderful thought for the day to think about all day for that first day of Advent? In this case, it's 25 days starting December 1st. It's not the weeks of Advent that some churches use. And then you have the prayer. So I do have an Advent calen a candle out just to remind me I like to use that and start each week of Sundays to think about it, but it's always good to go either way just to do some reflections for Advent. And I pray that you are enjoying this. Erin King, yes, I do think it's a very uplifting book to do and just great things will come to you as you read this book and other books. And I will be putting in the comments again the link to the Christmas Joy Shop. Thank you.